guys welcome back to another video hope all is well now colorado how many pros you think they have on that team there's some obvious pros but um i go back to what coach prime said yeah uh, i think it was yesterday's speech he said usually the team that win the most games that's the team that has the most players going pro he said that in a speech and um i thought about it. he's he's correct on that um Georgia's team last year won a national title and they had quite a few players going the first round, second round, third round as well. But um, I want to talk about that and see what you think. Stay tuned. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All of that will be greatly appreciated by me. All right. So you know, there's some obvious players on the team that we think is going to have a, a shot at the NFL. Obviously, Travis Hunter is one of them, but he's a sophomore, so he's going to come back for his junior season. But how many pros or players that they have operating at a pro level is going to determine how many how many games they win, really, if you think about it? What do you guys think about that? Um, Coach Prime said it. He said it's usually the team that win the most games they got the most players going to the nfl because those are the players that got the spotlight on them and most teams don't want to pass up on these type of players you know i was thinking about colorado right when the season start we're gonna get a lot of questions answered who's gonna go pro who are the pros looking at you gotta wait till the season start and get towards the middle of the season and then that's gonna tell you right there that's going to tell you a lot. That's going to tell you the whole story. Because I guarantee you, you're going to have some player that's not on our radar that's going to get a lot of looks from um, from NFL scouts. You know, obviously, Travis Hunter is um, the obvious pick. You got Shador Sanders. Obviously, he's going to get a look at the NFL. But who are the others? Javon Antonio? Who are the others? Um, Jimmy Horn Jr., Xavier Weaver. Now, speaking of Xavier Weaver, he only this is his last year of eligibility. So he definitely want to do well this year. And um, but even even still, he's gonna get um he's gonna get his shot at the NFL. I just know it. I, I've been watching football a long time. I know talent when I see it. I just do. Horn Jr. They got a lot of pros, pro potential on that team. And um that could translate into them winning a lot of ball games. What do you guys think? It's been a while since I did a video like this, you know, driving or whatever. Um, I try to get these video, videos out the best way I can. And before I go, I like to thank those that have subscribed. And um, I really appreciate you guys for subscribing and rocking with me. Um, next week, not this weekend, obviously, I'm watching the USC game. Oh, USC got their depth chart out. What you guys think about that? Um, next week during the game, I'll probably be live during the game, but I can't let you hear the game because I don't want to get a copyright strike. So I'm going to have to get my Jim Lampley and Larry Merchant on, like maybe do my commentary. I'm going to, I'm going to try, I'm going to experiment and try to do my commentary during the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm always wanting to be an arm check, an arm, uh, what do you call it? a Sunday sports analyst. So maybe I'll get my chance and we'll see. But um, yeah, man, thank you guys. I'll see you next video, peace. Thanks for watching guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.